everyone today I'm going to introduce you to a tool which I really love for teaching writing it's free it's called Google Docs and it allows for students to collaborate on a document so that both the teacher and the students can see what's uh, what changes are being made online I'm going to show you an example here let's go to Google Docs it's completely free click on the link and I use a personal account which is free this is how you create a new document click on plus and the first thing you need to do is give your document a title okay I'm just gonna call it my document and what you can do is you can type okay so this is a Google Doc which you can share There you go. In a nutshell, this is what Google Docs allows you to do. And this is your document. It's just like Microsoft, just like Microsoft Word. And one of the things you can do is you can share it with students. So if you can click share and then get the shareable link. Okay. Make sure that it's set to edit. That allows students to make changes to it. Okay. If you pick can view, they can only see it, but not make changes. If you click more, there's more options. I always like to click anyone with the link. So anyone who has the link can make changes to the document. Let's click save here and then click. They can edit and done. Now, once you've done that, you click share, copy the link which is this link over here and you can share that paste that and share it with your students so this is what the link looks like there you go okay that's what the link will look like you can paste it on the chat box on zoom or you can even email it to your students okay so that's what you do don't forget click done okay now I'm going to show you an example of an editable document that I have this is one I created for my students. Okay. So if I'm teaching them on Zoom, I just share the link. They can click on the link and it will open. If you notice on the right hand side, I've made comments. Can you see I've edited their mistakes and I've showed the correct version. And they can click accept if they want to accept it or decline, reject. To not accept the changes usually after I've made these changes they will click accept and these green words will go back to black okay um, so I'm going to give you an example of an activity that I can do with students so let's first of all how do we share it so we can share it like this click share people can edit okay copy the link and it's now copied onto the clipboard so if I paste it here, there you go, students will be able to see it. Okay, so let's say they have Google Docs installed on their phone. They'll open it like this. And when students type, okay, we will see the changes. Okay, and everyone will be able to see, everyone in the class will be able to see these changes. So I'm going to show you a real example of a class where I use Google Docs to teach online. To me, right? <laughs> so um, let's look at another email. Okay, have a read. Okay. <clears throat> Um, is this is this quite a good email compared to the other ones? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, what, why is, can you give me three or four reasons why this is a good email? Mm. The subject. The clear subject. Yes, a very clear subject. If I see it, I know what it's about. What other, what other good things are there? It's when he the the sentences are, he says it's not an order. He he uh, he asks if it's possible to to uh, to check if it's yes. uh, lovely. Right. Does he do it politely? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's polite. Anything else? Uh, we know the who who, who <laughs> sent this email. This email this yes, email. we know who sent it, right? Yeah. Somsak sent it, didn't he? Mm. Good. And mm. the language is polite, yeah? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Well done. So we're going to practice following these guidelines, right? So can you remind me the guidelines, maybe five guidelines for writing a good email? Mm. Right. Formal. Yes, be polite, yeah. Formal if you need to. Maybe not for friends, but okay. uh, if it's your teacher, I guess you need to be a little bit formal. Another right. one. Right, uh, subject. Right, the subject. A clear subject, yeah. Should it be very long? No. No, just oh. two or three words is fine. Yeah. yeah, a few words. Don't write an essay on the subject line. Good, anything else? Uh, acknowledgement at, at, uh, at, at, at the end. Yes, at the end. See this part here, this here, this is what we call a closing. A closing. Mm -hmm. Thank you is a closing. In a formal situation, you might say, I look forward to receiving your reply. Yeah. Or I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, regards, best wishes, so, all those yeah. things. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's another good guideline? To put his name. The name yes. Of the... And salutation, right? So you might write the title if it's formal. Yeah. But uh, if it's your friend, you can skip the Mister, right? Hi, Peter, right? That's fine. Yeah. All right, so well done. We're gonna. I'm gonna share a document with you, with all of those bad emails, and I want you to improve them. You don't have to do all of them. Just pick two each, yeah, and uh, start typing. And then I will. E don't worry if you make mistakes because I will edit them a little bit. Okay? Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Is it an email? Okay, great. Now, I'm just going to explain something. Where's my annotation tools? Okay, right. Here's the bad email, terrible email. There are some things wrong. And this is the correct, this is what I want you to type. Okay, the correct one. And here's the second email. Yeah, please correct that. Okay, you don't have to do all of them. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four. Four, and the last one is a good one. So maybe do two each. Okay. okay. Kanjana, you do two. Murad, you do two. Pick any one you want. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to send that to your chat box. You just click on the yeah. chat box, and then you can open there. Okay, go ahead. And uh, imagine that you are the one sending the email. Okay. No, no, don't, Murad. <laughs> don't email yourself. <laughs> Okay. Okay. How about you email me, right? <laughs> Write my name. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. That should be the email address. Right? Okay. Yeah. Email yourself. That's quite uh, funny. So then is your, your... You, you mean that uh, for for example, um, the second email you want me to re rewrite. Re rewrite it. Yes, and make it make it a good email. Improve the email. Mm. So you can do the second one if you want to do the second one. You can do the third one or the fourth one. It's up to you. You can choose. Mm. Mm. Okay, so let's look at, okay, what about the subject? Is it okay? Send, send it, you see. Sending uh, essay. Okay, we, we usually make it a noun phrase, okay? So send, is there another word which is a bit more formal than send? Okay, so submit, take, make it into a, okay, you have the verb, then you switch it make it into a noun and put it last, essay submission, okay? okay? So, okay, space, where should we have spaces? Where do we need new lines? I. I look yeah. forward to receive the reply. Yes, yeah. Okay, looks tidy now, right? Okay, so yes. we, who is we? I'm sorry, it should be I. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I would like to send you my essay 
Okay. Mm. Please see attached file. Okay. Attached file. Yes. Yep. Please yes. kindly check and see if there are any improvements. Okay. That can could be made. Can be made. Okay. Okay. Or please provide me with some feedback. Okay, this is good now. I look forward to receiving whose reply? Your reply, okay? Yeah. There you go. Okay, very okay. good. Now, now it's great, yeah? Let's look at the next one together. Yeah. Change to yeah. Smith. Smith. Mr. X, whatever, okay, Mr. Smith, whatever, okay, okay. Oh, my mistake, I'm so sorry. I, I forgot to change editing mode. Let's use editing mode, okay? So, editing mode, suggestion, okay. Now we've got it, we've got it now, okay. Not concerning, during. Yeah, mm. I would like to know that my work during my absence. No. Okay, so when we make, what should we change this to? The comma change to. Point. Yes, full stop. Yeah. And then next one, change lowercase to? Yeah, uh, capital. Yes, capital. Capital. Okay. Oh. And to make it more polite, what can we add at the end? Uh, I look forward to your reply. Uh, please, right? right. Yeah? Could you oh, please okay. check okay. and... Could yeah, you please check it, please. it, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. 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 Oh, sorry. You already have, please. I'm so yeah. sorry. My okay. fault. Let me remove that. Okay. Here you've got sincerely regards. Yeah. Choose one. You can have regards. You can have sincerely. You can have regards. Choose one. Don't use both. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sincerely. What should we have after sincerely? Uh, actually, I. you know what? I prefer regards because it's kind of like very good for it's kind of good for it's not too formal and it's not too informal so i, I kind of i'm going to keep that so i'm gonna undo undo right let me see if i can undo okay so okay and yeah. what should we have after regards name name yeah oh yeah okay <laughs> So okay, the next one. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> okay, <that's me. laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, let's look at this one. Okay. Yeah. So, acknowledgement. Okay. Of hard work. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mr. Jones. I would like to thank you for all the work you did this year. I appreciate you. And I. Okay, let's look at this one here. Capital one. Yeah, would be better, yeah? Okay, yes, yes. great. Oh, okay. I really enjoyed learning from your, I really enjoyed yeah, learning from, from your, you, from you, from, from you. you, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's studying with you, yeah, it's better. Okay. It's a little bit different, studying like, Studying your learning is a bit different. I get learning is like a hundred percent goes into your head and you understand everything, but we're studying, so maybe you don't know everything, but mm. you, you learned a lot. Okay? okay, okay, hope to see you again. Okay, change the comma to full stop. I wish you all the best for the future. Regards, very good, very good. Well done. Do you have any questions about that? Uh, no, 